What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails of Cold Steel. Last time we yes. started going through our supposed final floor of the old school house. There are only six floors on the elevator panel, and this is the sixth floor. And we are at the end of the sixth floor, right before our usual boss. So we're gonna go through here and see what awaits us. And then of course, after we're done here at the old schoolhouse, unless something crazy happens, we are gonna go meet up with Toa afterwards to um, see what her idea is. Well, see what she did for last year's festival to hopefully give Reen an idea of what his class can do with their limited numbers. So uh, let's see what awaits us. Oh boy. Whatever these are. Elva Elvavria? Is that what you're called? Nice. And Elliot gets a nice uh casting thing. Um what are you actually uh, Earth? Earth and then uh what is it? Space and time? So Cross Crusade is not what we want to be using. This'll work fine though, at least on you. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I don't know if that'll affect a robot. A blind is probably one of the most annoying ailments. Obviously, a lot of them are annoying. I feel like the least annoying, even though it takes health away, is probably burn and poison, because it doesn't stop you from being able to do anything. Obviously, with uh, blind, there's a much higher chance you're going to miss and get countered. And then, of course, with uh, paralysis, you can't use normal attacks. You can only use arts. Okay, well, I guess this will work. <laughs> So who is blinded right now? Oh, uh, nobody anymore. Okay, that's fine then. Nice. Oh, what I should do is this. Green, you're a little far away from this to uh, enjoy it, but... Now, I don't want to toot my own horn yet, or that's not even the right phrase to use here. I don't want to jump the gun yet, but this guy is going down relatively quick at the moment. So, hopefully... Okay, there we go. Before they start doing any, like, crazy abilities, hopefully we can take some of them out. She gets another attack, which is nice. Um, you know what? Let's do this, actually. Because he can make use of the crit for his uh, S-Craft. Get in there, Gaius. Oh yeah, that's some good damage. You know what? It would actually be more ideal if I could get these two, but I want to make sure Reen gets it, so we'll just rebuff Laura and then give it to Reen. Oh, and right, it gives defense too, so now uh, Laura has double defense uh, buff. 
Perfect. All right, yeah, this floor much easier than last month's floor. Unless I just got really lucky with what they've been hitting with. Probably didn't even need to do that, honestly. Because Rain's gonna get a turn right now. What did it just give itself? Oh, okay, it buffed itself. Got it. You know what? I can give her back what she just lost. So that should just nullify the, uh, yep, okay. Yep, it just nullifies her, uh, debuff, essentially. Um... Nice. All right, Laura. Some good damage for a normal attack. All right, Rain, what can you make use of? Uh, fire's okay. Let's grand press. Yeah. Twenty-five hundred. It's not bad. All right. Now everyone's to get. Well. Yeah, sure. Elliot hasn't really, been, you know, famous last words. Elliot hasn't really been getting picked on, so. We are getting there, though. All right, Ali, so what do we got? Uh, dark or white? Yeah, she doesn't really have any of that, so I think our best bet is probably... Let's use Flare Bomb. Yeah, it's still fine for damage. Gale! All right, this should end it. All right, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Nothing to worry about there. Whew, they sure didn't pull their punches. Well, we won. And nothing's happening. No sign of a new door appearing either. Hmm, that seems to be the case. For the final floor, that seems kind of like a letdown. Come to think of it, it's all just been business as usual since the fourth floor, hasn't it? True, we've been able to access a new floor every month, but that's about it. I guess we can't do much here right now. Let's head outside. Roger. All right, Rain and Fee, level five. So I guess uh, there is always the case that just something new happens next month. I mean, there's no way for them to know for, sh for sure whether something will happen right now or not. 
I think this is the first time we're gonna finish a floor and actually keep going. Most of the time, I usually am still doing the video in the dungeon and then the boss, and that's where we usually end up. But, uh, we'll see what happens now. But yeah, that boss was surprisingly easy. Just took a little bit of time. But it wasn't like some of the other floors, you know, no dizzying effect to make me attack my allies. No, uh, uh, what's some of the other ones? No stone, like none of that stuff that we've been dealing with lately. Yep, still nothing. Alright, let's head back up. See, like, I don't mind those other ailments when it happens every once in a while. But when the enemy is making sure it connects every single attack they do, that's when I have a problem. Then I'm just like, okay, if I don't have the correct accessories to prevent it, then I'm basically screwed. Which, I don't really like that. Uh, alright. End investigation. Well, congratulations. We all survived another month of exploration. And sure enough, nothing suddenly appeared on our on our way back. Well, if the sixth floor really is the last one, that means our investigation of the old schoolhouse is over now, right? We still know nothing about it. This is just my hunch, but I don't think we've just taken our last trip into the old schoolhouse. Maybe we should tell the principal later and see what he thinks. Celine? Hmm, a cat? Oh, it's Celine. Hmm, do you know her? You know Celine Fee? Yep, I saw her with Emma once. Doesn't seem like Emma's her owner, but it was almost like they were having a conversation somehow. When you put it that way, I've gotten that impression before, too. Oh, her name is Celine. It has a nice ring to it. And her fur's so pretty, too. She's wearing a ribbon on her tail. If Emma's not her owner, I wonder who is. Oh, I wouldn't mind giving her a scratch behind the ears. Still, she's quite an elegant-looking cat. Yeah, she has kind of a noble air. I think she and I would get along. She doesn't seem to mind all the attention, at least. Oh. Um, um. What is it? Seems like she wants something from me. The question is what? Oh. It looks like she's had enough affection for one day. Will she be alright? I hope she doesn't accidentally wander into the old schoolhouse or something. She'll probably be fine. She looks like she knows her way around the campus. True, and she seems pretty intelligent too. I guess we're worrying for nothing. Very odd exchange. Anyway, we might as well call it a day. Yeah, you're right. Oh, and let's not forget, when we get back to the dorm, we need to sit down and discuss what we're doing for the festival. Whoops, almost forgot about that. Uh, well, it sounds like we'll, we have plenty to keep us busy tonight. After all the progress we've made, I'd really rather we were the ones to solve the mysteries of the old schoolhouse. Oh well, guess there's not much of a point in dwelling on it now. Oh yeah, it's almost time to meet up with Toa. I should head on up to the computer room on the second floor of the main building. Chaos. Receive one additional... Oh, yeah, I forgot about the additional bonding point. All right, who are our options? Alisa, Crow, or Milliam. Uh, we already have Alisa at bond five, right? Oh, no, we don't. All right, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go get those final points for Alisa, then. So that means let's head over to the field and see what Alisa is up to. I still haven't decided who I'm going to choose, at least for this playthrough, the final scene for. But uh, it'll probably be a split second decision. I don't think I'm going to go with what I... I think I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to go with Fee. 
Uh, like I mentioned before, for the Cold Steel games, I pretty much went with Fee, like, all four games through. So I will probably do something different just so it's kind of a surprise to see what kind of happens, but we'll see. Are you already done with practice for the day, Alisa? Yeah, the second years are all busy preparing for the festival. They might ask me to help them out with setting things up here at some point, too. Haha, <laughs> I guess nobody's getting any rest until the festival's over. Especially those of us who haven't come up with anything yet. Yeah, I really hope we can find something that's perfect for us. Should I stay around to talk with her some more? Yeah. Hey, Alisa, would I be getting in your way if I stayed around a little while longer? Oh, no, not at all. Hmm. There's a spare cross here. How about we play some catch, too? A cross? Oh, the stick thing. I've never used one before. Would you mind showing me how to use it? Hee <laughs> hee, I'd be happy to. The cross isn't too hard. I've, I've played a few times myself. Catch. Oof. Back to you. Oh, that one actually flew pretty straight. You're getting the hang of this. Haha, <laughs> little by little. You know, it's nice to play catch with you like this. I never expected we'd end up this close. But what? That kind of came out wrong. I only meant that a few months ago you couldn't stand to be in the same room with me, but now here we are. Well, there was the accident and all, which I specifically told you to forget about. Haha, <laughs> my bad. But this makes me happy. I remember worrying that we'd never be able to make up, so I'm glad we can just play ball now. Cut it out, you're making me blush. I know what you mean, though. I just wish our time together didn't have to come to an end. Uh. Wait, now my words are coming out wrong. I meant I don't want our time together as classmates to come to an end. That's all I meant, okay? Yeah. You got a good point, though. We're going to be second years in just a few months, and one year after that, we'll be graduating. It sounds like a long time from now, but I'm sure it'll be over before we know it. Yeah. Hey, Reen. Do you remember what we talked about back in Nord? I don't think I would have become any stronger without Class 7's help and your... Uh, help and support, yours included. So thanks. Thanks for worrying about me, and thanks for telling me to keep looking up. I'm finally starting to move forward, step by step. That's something I probably couldn't have done if I hadn't come here and met Class 7, or the rest of the Academy. Or if we didn't get to spend time together like this. I agree. But I guess we both said some pretty embarrassing stuff now that you mention it. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. But even so, I stand by what I said that night. If I'm going to move forward, I want it to be with you and Class 7 and all the members of the lacrosse club, because I wouldn't be moving forward at all without all of you helping me, and I'd like to think I've helped you too. And I'm sure that'll stay true for the next month's field study and the Academy Festival after that. Me too, Alisa. I feel exactly the same way. Things might seem rough now with our last field study coming up, the looming shadow of our final exams doesn't help either. And to be honest, we'll probably even, we'll probably have even more challenges to face as second years. But the time we spend together, both the good times and the bad, those are what we're going to remember. Those times are the blocks we keep putting together until we find the shape of the lives we want to live. Nice words. Yeah, you're right. As long as we don't give up and stick together, we're going to be just fine. That was sweet. There you go, level five. Get rush two. I still have yet to see what rush two even like means. All right, well, before we go say, uh, say hi to Toa and see what that's about, I guess we can check in on everybody now that it's evening. Uh, Laura's back in town, standing behind the, next to the cafe again. Why is Elliot in the student union building? It's an odd place for him to be. Of 
Crow? Where is he outside? Wait, what? Oh, I'm a fool. No, he's in the actual school building. I just got back from my evening ride. There's nothing like riding a bike. The wind blows your troubles right off of you. I guess you could say that feeling is pretty much my way of life. Yeah, I, I would say yes. All right, student union, library. Wonder what they're in the library doing. I guess more studying. Wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility. Oh, this is why Elliot's here, having some uh, relaxation with Machias. Hmm, coming up with a good idea for the festival is harder than I thought. Especially when all the other classes and clubs have started preparing. It makes me feel the need to rush things along. But the last thing we want to do is panic and end up with something really boring, though. Uh, I think I'll have to throw in the towel and admit defeat here. Ellie and I were bouncing ideas off each other, but nothing really seems to stick in the end. And I think the same thing would happen even if we got the rest of the class in on it, too. Hmm. Maybe we need to step back and rethink our approach. Yeah, I mean, if no individual is able to come up with something, you know, just sitting around thinking together isn't going to really change things. Sometimes you need some outside help. Oh, Ferris, my sister Supreme, your expression of late stirs an indestructible and enormous pride within me. One could readily liken it to the serene radiance given off by snow as it melts under the gentle sunlight. Rejoice, Ferris. Join your brother in his carnival of unending joy. Do you ever stop being so aggravating? Why must you bother me whenever Serifa is too busy for your nonsense? Why must he blow everything out of proportion? Just because Serifa is currently occupied doesn't give him carte, carte blanche? I don't know that phrase. <laughs> to bother me. Emma. I finished writing up the prologue for the plot outline you gave me. I might have gotten a bit carried away with our my own interpretation of some of the scenes, though. Warn me in advance. Just how graphic does it get? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, fishing club? Oh, no. You. It seems as though a girl in Class 7 and I may be kindred spirits. My crystal ball tells me she will play a part in something far greater we could know. Not only that, I've caught her speaking to a black cat more than once. Hehehe, <laughs> fate seems to have many hardships in store for the poor girl. Well, it does seem like Emma has something going on she doesn't want to tell us about. Well, at least you're self-aware of it. Yeah, who would stop me from just walking in, though? I'm a noble, but I'm also in a lower class, I guess. Oh, hey, it's uh, Emily and Teresa over here as well. Uh, okay, so now Fee on the first floor, Crow on the second floor. Actually, before we do that, let's go into town, because we can just go to the computer room on the way. I'll be taking all the children to the Academy Festival next month. I hope to see you all there. Hee <laughs> hee, I'll be there all right. In fact, how about the two of us just go together? Um, I'm not sure about that. Slow down, kid. A bit too young. Milliam. I made some cookies at the cooking club today. Nicholas and Margarita got all freaked out about it, but it was super fun. What'd you do this time? I let Lammy help me flatten out the cookie dough. But he kind of flattened the whole board on accident. It's almost charming when you play it like that. <laughs> Laura and Monica. Oh, that's cool. They're having some tea together. That's nice. And by doing this, you can turn it into an octodog. What? My word, you transformed that hot dog into an octopus. I didn't know you were capable of such miracles, Monica. Well, I don't know if I go that far, but how about I teach you how to make them? Then you can be a miracle worker too. You mean it? Thank you so much. Seems like she's really taken to cooking. 
Guess I'll have to octa dogs. Wait, what? Guess I'll have to octa dogs to look forward to next time she makes something. What? I don't get it. That's such a weird phrasing. Amazing to think one could fashion a hot dog into a little octopus or cut an apple into a shape of a rabbit. I wasn't aware that cooking was such an intricate art. You know, Laura is always like one side or the other. Like she'll either very much surprise you at how much she knows about, you know, just social aspects or just normal things that don't have to do with the way of the sword. But then you also see how excitedly surprised she gets at stuff like this. So it's it's very odd. Let's see if we can say hi to Sarah real quick. Drinking, of course, still. Keep those beers coming. Uh, looks like she's pretty wasted. I should just let her sleep it off. Sharon. I happen to be in the middle of dinner preparations. There's still some time until everyone else returns, so dinner will have to wait until then. If you have any remaining business, it would be wise to finish it now. Thanks, narrator. All right, now we can head back to the school. We'll talk to the last, uh, who is it, Crow and then Fee, I believe, are still in the school. And then we'll go see what Toa is up to. Well, we'll go to the computer room and see what Toa is going to show us, rather. There are a few of the others, like, named students we haven't gotten to see much of since, we, like, Monk is one we've only really seen a few times. But uh, a lot of them we've seen a lot. Fee, of course. If she's on the first floor, there's only one place she ever is. We're really struggling to come up with something, aren't we? Maybe inspiration will strike if I lie down. You're just looking for an excuse to sleep, aren't you? Perhaps. Yeah, that does give it away. Alright, Crow's on the second floor as well. Alright, that's where we need to be anyway. Alright, let's run down here. So he's in here? Why is he still in the... What are you doing, man? What are you doing here, Crow? Hmm? Oh, nothing much. Did something happen? Nah, just feeling a bit sentimental. It's nothing serious. Don't worry about it, man. The fact that you're being quiet and sentimental is always cause for worry. For once, he seemed like he was at a loss for words as opposed to every other time we talked to him. Uh... No, no VV and uh, Linde. All right, guess we'll uh, get started with this then. Let's see what happens. Well, here we are. I wonder if Toe's already inside. You won't be able to roam around for the remainder of the day. Okay, let's do it. Huh? Doesn't sound like she's here yet. Oh. She's asleep. At least she's getting some rest. Must be a rare treat for her. What do I do, though? I'd almost feel bad waking her. Let her sleep. I'm a nice guy. She must be really tired. I should let her sleep a while longer. Oh, right. Look at this gentleman here. There we go. I guess I'll just read a book or something while I'm waiting. Oh, so his shirt, his undershirt is just like a long sleeve version of the one he wore during the summer. Okay. So I guess they, the undershirts have, I always just assumed he wore the short sleeve shirt under the jacket. God, I don't think I could wear a long sleeve shirt and a jacket though, unless it's like really cold. In all reality, maybe we should have woken her up, simply because it's going to be hard for her to fall asleep if she's napping when it's dark. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, hey, you're awake. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it. You're doing me a favor here. I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule for me. That's supposed to be her giving his jacket back. It wasn't too hot, was it? うん。ポカポカして気持ちよかったけど。じゃなくて。リンク、そこに直りなさい。はあ? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry? You were sleeping peacefully. That seemed almost wrong to wake you up. But I guess it was inconsiderate of me to just let you nap there. <laughs> yeah, knowing Rain, it would have been one... Hell of a misunderstanding. You gotta be careful of your actions. Even if you're doing a nice thing, it can come off as, uh, something else. <laughs> anyway, I asked you to meet me here so I could show you more about the concert we put on for last year's festival. Oh, you mean the one you did with Angelica, Crow, and George? Do you have some record of it here? Hee <laughs> hee, actually I do. George was testing some kind of orbital video camera that was being developed by the Rohrer Institute of Technology. And we've still got the recording here. An orbital video camera. Yeah, the technology is different from what they use the or uh, for the orbital net. Actually, it's probably faster to just show you. Let me bring it up on the screen. Oh, you've got pictures of it. More than just pictures. I mean, he, she did say video, but that might be harder to understand. Just watch. Amazing. I know, right? It plays back images and sound at the same time, so it's like a radio and a camera combined. The quality might be a bit rough, but it really feels like you're really there, doesn't it? Heh, <laughs> it's really something else. Oh, there we are going up. Wow. Yeah, look at what she's wearing. Look at what they're all wearing. I mean, that's like... Crow looks pretty normal. But George over there on the right, too, just dressed like that is very <laughs> out there. Isn't it cool? It's called Rock. It's making a splash in the music scene abroad. I mean, this game did come out in, like, what, 2013? Like a decade ago? They use Orbital Audio Technology to amplify guitars for it. It's a pretty bold sound, huh? It definitely is. And uh, speaking of bold, how about that outfit? Ah, I forgot about the outfit. Don't look at that. Just focus on the performance. This is... Bravo! That was incredible. I wish I could have been there to see it in person. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, uh, was that any help? Help? This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm not sure if we can put together something as flashy as this, but we do have Elliot and he knows his music, so I think we might have a chance. Glad to hear it. Crow was the one who planned all of this out, so he's the one you should ask about how to put a program like this together. Angie did our choreography and George got all the instruments together for us. I'm sure they'd help you if you asked. I think I just might. We have to get our preparations for the festival underway. Oh, I put a copy of the video onto this memory cords for you, too. If you put this memory cords into the orbital projector here, you can watch the video anytime you want. Maybe you can bring everyone here 
uh, bring everyone from your class here and show it to them tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for everything, Toa. I mean, I asked for help, but you really went above and beyond. I don't, I really don't know how to thank you. You're always looking out for me, Rian. It's the least I can do. Besides, I'm sure this idea will spark some lively discussion within your class. It's not a done deal yet. But I'm really curious to see how things turn out. Me too. Well, there you go. We're going to put on a concert. At least that's the idea. Like, seriously, living in a peaceful town like this, there is no way I wouldn't go for a walk, like, every night before I go to bed here. It just seems so nice. Ah, uh, well, that seems to have gone over well. I could see Elliot's eyes light up when I mentioned it. So it looks like Class 1 is definitely putting on a play. And not just any play. A full-scale classical operetta with all the trimmings. Even if an operetta is shorter than a full opera. This is Class 1 we're talking about. I'm sure they'll spare no expense on the outfits and stage design. True, if they had any more blowhards, they'd be a wind tunnel. <laughs> class 2 looks like they're going to run with their idea of doing some kind of indoor garden. From what I heard, they want something based on the motif of the night sky. Sounds like quite the elaborate setup. Class 3 is intending to run a game based around Blade. Well, that's interesting. I heard they're playing to decorate the room like a castle and provide lessons for beginners as well as advanced matches. Huh, really? Class 4 is going to do an Eastern-style cafe of sorts. They're claiming... You can enjoy an exotic dining experience. Not sure what they mean by Eastern style, though. So, Calvardian? Well, my sword is technically Eastern style, I guess. But yeah, it seems like an awfully broad term. You don't really see too much uh, stuff from the East in Erebonia. Well, for good reason, because they don't get along with Calvard. Class 5 is doing something kind of different. They'll be using the training hall for something, some attraction they called Mishy Panic. Wait, is it Mishy, the mascot of the big theme park in Crossbell? It is. Kind of a strange choice, considering the current political climate. Aha, I'm kind of a Mishy fan, though. One time, Lecter brought me back a Mishy keychain. It's pretty cool. Oh, the intelligence division never struck me as the type who would budget for souvenirs. Anyway... The captain of the riding club is intending to organize some manner of horse racing event. Officially, there's to be no gambling, but with our senior colleague involved, I'm sure the free expertise uh, enterprise will find a way. <laughs> innocent whistle, anything but innocent. Really, Crow? Toa's not going to like this if she finds out. Ah, oh, come on, it's a festival. A little low-stakes fun never hurt anyone. A number of second years are planning to run stalls, and many clubs are intending to put on events as well. But in terms of scale, the five other classes are our main competition. I've heard attendees will be able to vote on which class event they like most. <laughs> With the winner to be announced during the evening's festi fest festivities. That sounds like it's going to make things awfully competitive. Still... It's that much more incentive to make our class contribution one to remember. Which leads us to our current problem. What do we do? I'm thinking we should avoid... Uh, Rain's just been sitting there arms crossed the whole time. I'm thinking we should avoid doing anything that will require, require large-scale equipment. With our numbers and time we have to prepare, I doubt we could get it set up or even spare someone to operate it. Yeah, you make a good point. But if we take that into account, just about the only other option we have is doing something on the auditorium stage. And it's worth noting that using the stage will put us in direct competition with Class 1. We can't very well put on a production like theirs, though. We just look like copycats. Whatever we end up going with, it should be something we can all have a part in. Maybe a martial arts demonstration with a few sparring matches? No, that would probably get turned down as too dangerous. Not a bad line of thought, though. How about a cooking contest? Oh, oh, I call judge. 
Our troubles are over. I just had a visionary idea we could do with the Academy pool. Picture this. Stunning ladies in bikinis wrestling piggyback in the pool. Come for the fight, stay for the accidental exposure. I think not. Get out. No. Huh. This is getting us nowhere. They all sound like fun, though. Actually, I did find one idea I think we may be able to use. You did? Really? Haha, <laughs> I'll bet Toa told you, huh? Yeah, she showed me the video, too. I can't believe you never mentioned it. You guys put on an amazing show. Well, I'm the lone second year here. Didn't want to rob you bright-eyed first years of the full festival experience. So what's this idea, then? Did the student council president suggest something to you? Yeah, she showed me a video of a concert she, Crow, George, and Angelica put on for last year's festival. A concert on stage with vocals? Ooh, that does sound interesting. I have heard there was one event <laughs> there was one event at last year's festival that really drove the crowds wild. I've heard similar things, but I had no idea Crow was involved. Yeah, it was pretty spur of the moment though. So it was too late for them to put us in the on the official poll. If folks had been able to vote for us, I don't doubt we would have ranked right up near the top. Without seeing it for ourselves, it's difficult to say whether we'd be able to do something similar. You've got me curious, though. Sounds great. Let's do it. You said you saw the video, right? Can you show us, too? Yeah, Toa gave me a copy of it. Let's get together during lunch tomorrow and watch it. Sounds like a plan. Heh. <laughs> I can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they see it. Though I imagine Toa's outfit might raise a few more questions, too. Oh, it's not already? A bend time should be on soon. Got it, she's really into food. What, a little self-promotion here? That's a reference. So, uh, in case people have forgotten, Whereabouts of Light is the song that Joshua would play on his harmonica. Oh my god, the, the, the nostalgia. She really does have a pretty voice, though I guess you kind of have to in order to be a big opera singer like that. I don't know if singing on the air like that is such a good idea if she's trying to keep her identity under wraps, though. We've got our practical exam coming up next week, then another field study over the, the weekend. 
Sounds like things are going to be even busier than usual. I better brace myself for an exhausting week. Next day. Monday morning, start of a new week. Lunch break. Okay, so we're just going straight to the uh, viewing there. Whoa, that was way cool. Hmm, very impressive. That was neat. Well, it was certainly quite a technical display. But if you think we're gonna put on outfits like that and prance around on stage, you must be dreaming. Well, the outfits all depend on what kind of performance we put on. The clothes have to fit the mood and the music. Right, Crow? Yeah, we did a rock song last year. So if our outfits didn't scream rock, the whole performance would have lacked something, in my opinion. Though, in my infinite wisdom, I'd like to point out that revealing outfits will be popular regardless of the music. You guys. Outfits aside, it does seem like a bold co concept. Few would think to put on a performance like that. If we put in the time to practice, we may even compare favorably to Class 1's operetta. Well, Elliot's the music expert here. Do you think there's any chance we could put on a performance like this? Hold on. So first things first, how many of us can actually play an instrument? You learned the lute from your dad, right, Green? Yeah, I'm no virtuoso, but I can play as long as the music's not too complicated. And Ali, so you can play the violin, right? Yeah, my grandfather taught me. Gaius, you can play the sitar, was it? Been playing it for years. I can play the piano, so with the four of us, it looks like we have our instruments covered. Guess that means we just need to work on music and lyrics and decide who's going to be on vocals. So yeah, it really depends what kind of music we want to do, but I think we can pull off an impressive performance. Great. Well, when you put it that way, it doesn't sound like such a bad idea. That's true, and it seems fitting for a festival, too. Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's do it. Then the matter is settled. I'm in favor, too. I dread the thought of what the instructor would do if we didn't have anything to sign by today. So we, have, so we leave the musical responsibilities in Elliot's hands, then? Yeah, I think he's in the best position to decide the style of the performance, our songs, and what we should each be doing. That okay with you, Elliot? Sure thing. I haven't spent all these years studying music for nothing. Oh, and Crow? Do you think you could give us some help with the outfits and with getting a hold of the equipment we'll need? I'd like us to do as much of this ourselves as we can. Haha, <laughs> sure. I'll do what I can. This might be a temp thing and all, but I am part of Class 7. So if you're going all in, I'll throw my chips in your pile. Crow? Crow? Wow, maybe I've had you pegged wrong this whole time. So just leave those outfits in my capable hands. I'll make sure you all shine like stars up there, especially the ladies. I take it all back. He's not even trying to hide it. Haha. <laughs> We're counting on you to keep him tasteful, Reen. Right, tasteful. Now what? Well, you know what day it is. Yep. We're definitely going to stop before the battle begins. Just timing-wise. First, congratulations are in order. Took you long enough, but you finally decided what to do for the festival. So you're following in Toa's footsteps and putting on a concert, huh? Have you decided what kind of music you want to do? Um, not exactly. We're still kind of getting things sorted. At the very least, it should be pretty easy to decide who's playing an instrument and who will be on vocals. I'm not actually sure I've ever even touched an instrument. Hmm, can't say I have either. You'd probably at least need some rudimentary experience to play an instrument at the festival. 
I had the pleasure of seeing last year's concert live. They put on a real show. Rain and Crow, you two are handling all the outfits, right? You guys have that under control? Uh, yup, we got that shit on lockdown. I don't usually curse, but I'll read it in the uh, text. <laughs> well, we've narrowed it down to at least 15 most promising designs. I gotta save that one. I know, save us all. I suppose we'll just have to rely on Reen to save us from being dressed by Crow. Honestly, I feel a little envious. If I were five years younger, I'd jump right on stage with all of you and have a great old time. Hey, what are you looking at me like that for? Um, instructor, how old are you again? Aren't you in your mid-twenties? Even if you were five years younger, graduation would still be years behind you. Hush, you. For us ladies, everything up to the mid-twenties is just a warm-up. And men, they're like fine wines, better with age. I'm not sensitive about it, really. This is just another valuable life lesson that is my duty as your instructor to impart. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, as much as I'm looking forward to the festival, that's not why we're here today, are we? Not only do you have a field study next month. Wait, next month? Oh, so it's not happening right away? Okay. It looks like you're off the hook as far as... Oh, oh, okay, I read it wrong. Not only do you have no field study next month, it looks like you're off the hook as far as practical exams go, too. So this will be our last practical exam for a while. I figured I'd crank up the challenge a couple notches. Oh, so we're fighting you. Wait, are you saying... Are you going to serve as our opponent? Bingo! Just think of this as the... Long-awaited second round of May's exam. If you want to get back at me, now's your chance. But you better bring it, because I'm not going to go easy on you. Alright, Rain. Pick two for your team, because you're up first. Two, huh? Uh, Okay. Um, Elliot and Lara. All right, let me just make sure everyone is set up for what we need. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, so we're going to end things off here. So next time we're going to fight Instructor Sarah for... Presumably, our final practical exam of the game. Uh, unless, it, like, like she said, there's going to be no practical exam or uh, field study next month. So, both practical study and field study of this chapter is pretty much our final one of the game. So, we'll see how things go with that. But, yeah. That's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.